Oh, car mechanic, yeah. That's just like the dentist, though. It's the same thing. The one thing lately is, like... Um... They, like, don't tell me when stuff's wrong, and... They either tell you too much crap is wrong, or they tell you that... They don't tell you that when stuff is wrong. They either give... If, the, if you're gonna pay for it, they'll tell you, like, there's a million things wrong with your car, because they're getting money. But if they know you don't have the money, they're not gonna tell you either. So you could roll down the street and your whole wheel comes off and rides with you. Races you. Your own wheel races you. Because they didn't, they didn't want to tell you because they're not getting any money out of it. So they're not going to let you know. Hey, this is about to break. But if you had a bunch of money, they would fix everything. And even stuff that's not broken, they would just fix it anyway. Yeah, you need you need a new seat too. Oh, you came in to get an alignment. Well, you need a new seat. You need a new uh, bench in the back of your van. There, you need a new you need a new spare tire. We fix the liner. We fix the liner in there. I didn't ask you to fix the liner. What are you talking about? I came in for an alignment. Well, you know, your liner, you can't drive without a liner, so you're already in here. Your car, the wheels are off your car. You just can't drive it off the lot without fixing this liner here because it might fall and get in your eyeballs, and then you'll wreck your car. You don't want to kill nobody, do you? Now, we can't let you leave either because, you know, it's a hazard, and we'll have to call the police. You know, we just can't let you drive off the lot like that, man, because you're going to kill somebody. Your whole liner is going to fall down, and you're going gonna to be, be like a ghost. you would be like a ghost driving. So you can't do that, man. You're going to kill somebody. So we had to we had to fix your whole liner. You know, we reupholstered your whole... You know, we went ahead and reupholstered the whole thing, too. I mean, your liner was falling down. That's a that's a hazard. You know, you're going to kill somebody. So I know you just came in for, for an alignment, but we were while we was in there, because we had to drive... You know, we had to start your car up and drive it up on the lift. That's so why I was in. I almost died. I almost ran over Frank. I was driving your car, and the whole liner fell out, and I almost ran over Frank and Billy, like both of them. So they were going to sue, but I convinced them not to sue. I said, hey, you know, just a mistake. He don't know that you can't drive without a lot. You have to fix your liner. You know, they're expensive. We got There's a war, a pandemic, you know, ordering parts and stuff. We can't get it, so it costs lots of money, too. And we're going to have to keep your car here for, like, for two weeks because we're waiting on the parts. Yeah, they're coming from, uh, you know, they're coming from Nebraska. So, you got to get it fixed, man. You don't want to kill no You almost killed Frank and Bill. It was, you know, we almost ran them over because your whole... I know you just came in here for, for an alignment on your wheels, and that's, like, under the car and has nothing to do with the inside of the car. But, you know, we had to get in there and drive it up. So I saw it, and it's a hazard. And, like, you're going to kill somebody. So I can't. I just can't let you drive away. And it's going to be uh, $3,593. You can thank me later for saving your life. That's how it always works. I'm telling y'all. You go in for brakes, and they fix the fix uh, something else. Fix your transmission. Well, you know, I couldn't let you drive away with your transmission like that. You might have killed somebody. And it's against the law, and I'm not allowed to. So I have to fix it by law. It's a law. And if I let you go, if I let you, I just wouldn't feel right. So, you know, I made sure to fix it for you. I did you a favor. And it only cost an extra $2,000. Now, that's a peace of mind. You won't kill somebody. It's worth every penny. I gave you the discount, too. You get a discount because, you know, I gave you the friends and family discount. Now, normally it costs $3,000 to fix your liner in your car. But I, I did it for 2000 Gave you the friends and the family deal. I hate the mechanic, if you can't tell. If I find a, a trust, like a trustworthy mechanic, I will, like, I'll marry... The, someone in their family or something, which I kind of did because my uh, my father-in-law is a pretty good mechanic, and he he only screws me a little bit, right? You're never gonna get like not screwed at all. 
Like, it's like how much do you get screwed? And when you find the person that only screws you like a little bit, that's the best. You only take that little bit of screwing. Instead of like the whole woo, right, you know, all the way up the whole leg. Instead of getting the whole leg, I just get the, you know, the pinky finger. Well, I'll take a pinky finger any day when, instead of the whole leg. So anytime he has time and like, I'm like, please fix my car, please. I don't, I don't want the whole leg. I can't take it somewhere else. If I take it to you, it's going to be 300. If I take it to them, it's going to be 3,000. Like, it just will be. I know it. Don't matter what you say to me right now. It, it's, like, you could say, it's okay, man. Just, it only costs this much. I just did it the other day. It was only $500. I just took my car and did the exact same thing. It was only $500. That's all. Don't be worried about it. Not all mechanics are like that. People say that all the time. And then I take my car for the same exact thing that's supposed to cost $500. And uh, here I am spending like 2100 somehow. I'm like, and I'm not even the uh, gullible or like a, um, a mark or anything. Like, And they still get me. They act like I'm some idiot old woman or you know what i mean like somebody that knows nothing about cars whoever you want to say i don't want to offend anybody but they're main targets they like, treat me like a target like housewife or something like somebody that doesn't know anything about a car whoever that is a house husband if you, who knows i don't want to say the wrong thing because i'll get in trouble